A lot of people have different interpretation of it, but it's more like if you're with somebody you want to keep it private, you don't want nobody to know about it, just keep it that way and that's the inspiration there, that's like just be private and nobody has to know everything that you do. It's funny because this record that's called Paranoid, it's very similar to something like nobody has to know. So it makes a lot of sense and when he did the record and I heard it, I was like, he killed it, so that's definitely why I went to the other side. I would definitely say 2008 because that's the first time I ever recorded a track. But I was always into music, I always been a singer in church. I definitely say my family this is my biggest inspiration, and my daughter to be exact. So going into the music, my favorite, my, 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 my inspiration was my uncle because he was a veteran in, in, in reggae music. He used to go by the name of Screwdriver. So he was a singer, big singer back in the days. And he always be like, you know, you're going to be the next person to bring on the family tradition. Growing up in Jamaica is fun, it's nice, there is the tropics, we have beaches that you could go to. Yeah. And I was in the countryside where there's animals, so my grandmother had like cows, she had donkeys, she had goats. It was, it was fun growing up and then I migrated here to the States. My favorite is called stew peas, so it's like rice, beans and meat. But it's like, like gravy, it's more like, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. It's called stew peas. You can look it up. So it's Google it. Jamaican stew peas. Best. Simple stuff. You know, go in the city. You know, walk around the city. I'm not too into restaurants much. It doesn't matter. I, I could go into a you know, fast food place. It doesn't matter. It depends on the girls. If she's trying to be like, oh, you're going to take me really to win this? But uh, just, uh, just a regular thing. As I said, walk around the city, go to the park, stuff like that. I still listen to old school music and the reason why is that you don't sound like them. So I don't sound like my current people because in music, whether you like it or not, you're competing against everybody. No matter how small you are or how big you are. Because eventually, if you're small, you're that big, you're eventually going to get big as time goes by. Dance music in New York is very good. You know, because a lot of people don't know that in New York City, we have dance hall parties throughout the whole week, literally. You have Toasted Mondays, you have a thing called Seafood Tuesdays, then you have regular Wednesday night, and then there's Thursday night, and then there's regular part that people throw on Fridays and Saturdays, and there's a thing called Soul Bless Sundays, Monday through Sunday. Came from a former friend of mine who was in the studio, and um, he asked me the record and his record. And um, I went in the studio, did the record. And he was surprised, so he was like, we well, came with that off the top of your head because I didn't write it out. And then from there, I got the name Cranium. I just like to say, follow me on the Instagram, Cranium1, K R A N I U M1. My Twitter is that, the real Cranium, but I love Instagram a lot. I even read my DMs, so if you look at my Instagram at Cranium1. And thanks for the love and support. And if you don't know who Cranium is, come and check me out. I'm a cool fun guy. <laughs>